Hello, everybody, and welcome to session four of our data visualization class. Um, this is exciting because we've finally finished the foundational stuff from the first three sessions. So by now, you've been exposed to R and the tidyverse and the grammar of graphics, and you're getting experience with all of that right now in your, in your uh, exercises and your lessons. Um, for the rest of the mini-mester, though, um, these sessions shouldn't be as intense as the first three, as I've said in emails that I've been sending. Um, the first three involved lots of foundational work, teaching you how to use R, teaching you um, this new language of the grammar of graphics. Um, but now that you've got that covered and you're starting to master that, the rest of these sessions are all focused on specific ways to use the grammar of graphics to visualize data. Um, so mostly, each of these sessions are going to introduce some sort of new geom element, um, like geom bar or geom call or geom tile, as we'll see today. Um, and so that's basically what we're going to be doing for the next um, few sessions up until near the end of the course, um, where you'll be introduced to a new way of using a certain geom to represent some sort of data. So today, what we're going to be covering is amounts and proportions which are kind of foundational to data visualization. Um, it's one of the easier things that you can visualize. It's not anything complicated like um, geography or um, animated stuff. Um, these are mostly foundational things like bar charts um, and pie graphs and why you shouldn't use pie graphs. Um, so that's what we'll be talking about today. Um, so the plan for today's session it should go fairly quick again because, again, we've covered all the foundational stuff. Um, we'll first talk about reproducibility, which doesn't have anything to do directly with data, visual, data visualization, but it's actually really important. And it's um, kind of the reason why I'm making you do all of this in R instead of Excel or Tableau or something else that's not R. Um, after we talk about that, we'll talk about how to visualize amounts. And then we'll talk about how to visualize proportions. And that's the plan for today. So let's go ahead and get started. <laughs> 